all about revelation. Guy said, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, we thank him for coming in, in the person of Master Fawad Muhammad and raising the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, the exalted Christ. And we forever thank him for the honorable minister, Louis Fawad Khan. I greet you in the greeting words of peace. As-salamu alaykum. <laughs> so, I was like, well, like, I'm salam. I was like, I'm brand new fruit, right? <laughs> I was like, okay, well, like, salam. Man, he got the teaching. Man, he was teaching hard, man. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, and I don't, I can't recall all the things he was saying to me, right? But the main thing that stuck out to me was when I was getting out of the car, I told him I had to squad me. So he talked to me about 30 minutes. He was busting at him for about 30 minutes. Then, you know, I told him about my squad meeting. He said, oh, yes, sir, brother. Go to your squad meeting, brother. You know, and then he said, Assalamu alaikum. He said, brother, what's your name, brother? <laughs> I said, brother, Michael 17X. He said, oh, brother, you have to be careful with such a name. Because you can go to the extreme on either side. I said, good God, my. <laughs> so I walked away from that situation just because I just came, you know, from <laughs> that extremity and aspect of it on the other side, <laughs> you know, battling drug addiction, addiction, period, right? Boom, coming to the other side, <laughs> striving to go, you know, stand upright in a more disciplined manner, right? So that was significant when he said that to me. So I walked away and that, from that point on, I said, man, whenever this man has something to say, I'm gonna sit down and listen, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Regardless of how long you want to talk, right? So that had become my relationship with Brother Milton D. You know, but the power in words right before that, a few months before that, the first day I met the Army Mr. Farquhar face to face before I even came into the ranks, it was a few words he said to me face to face because I stood in the line to shake his hand, right? And um, from what I said, I said, you know, after all of the preliminaries, giving the greetings and all that, I, I said, uh, I said, thank you for showing me what a free man looks like. I hope to be that way one day, man. And he planted a seed in me with a few words. He said, don't worry, brother, you will. 
Now, I knew at that point, from my vantage point before I came in the ranks, I said, man, I'm talking to Jesus right now. Now, the Messiah is the deliverer. <laughs> Deliver a clear message. Deliver the lost round to the Lamb of God. You know, the deliverer. So, those words, don't worry, brother. You will. <laughs> so, that was a seed planted into me the day before. That was September 19, 1993. And on September 20th, 1993, I was at 1615 Kenilworth Avenue, Northeast D.C. in process of class in Muhammad Mars number four. But those words planted in me was like a seed opening up, dropping the root to send the shoot up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now I had to, don't worry, brother. You will. So worry and will. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The two significant significant words that I that I had to get an understanding of, and then you know, based on what Brother Milton D said, the extreme on either side. So worry and will see. <laughs> we have to eliminate worry and get an understanding of Allah's will. You know what I'm saying? To get me to the other side. Safely, uh, safely to the other side, uh, ride, make it ride, <laughs> safely to the other side, off the word of the Messiah, hey, take me higher, <laughs> alright, <laughs> hey, that's our word for the day, we're done for the day. You gon' wind up six feet under.